this is Flo and today we're going to be talking about the Cricut card mat 2x2 and the tips and tricks that will help you through making your projects. Now it's this document which is 11 pages has been put out by Cricut and is on the Cricut blog. Now if you're in New Zealand Cricut on Facebook you will find you can download this document I have put it into the files so if you go to the files and look for tips and tricks for your Cricut card mat 2x2 that's what it will be named now if you open this document on your computer you will find that there is a link to the Cricut blog that has all the pictures in it as well so if you want to read it online or if you were away somewhere else and you want to read it you can do so there. If you download it to your phone you will also be able to um, use this link I think. Now it says everything you need to double your card making fun but in actual fact you don't double it you make it four times. So we're with the Cricut Joy we have a card mat that just does one card at a time and that's been a lot of fun. This time we can do four cards at a time. Now, I won't scroll through this at the moment. I will just put that down the bottom. That takes you through everything you need to know. However, one of the things that it says is that we need to go into our projects. Now, you'll see here I've got design space up. I'm using a Maker 3 and it makes sure that you uh, put it your machine make sure that that's right up in this top corner and then we're going to go to the projects tab which is here and the projects will come up what we need to do then is to go to all categories here and we're going to go down to the cards that eliminates us having to go through multiple cards or projects that we can't use on our card map now there are lots of different sorts of cards and there are different card packs now if I just pause here for a moment I could take you through the different card mats I'm not sure whether I've got a picture of them all though however Let's bring this document back up again and we'll bring Cricut back up again. Whoops. Let's bring this document back up again and you will see that there are a lot of things in here that will help you. It's making the insert cards from the ready made projects, although you can design your projects yourself. You'll see that there's a lot of different style cards and on the second page of the document it will tell you the R stands for rectangle and you have R's in 10, 20, 30 and 40. You also have an S40 and the S is a square card. It's a nice size because it's 4.75 by 4.75 inches or 12.1 by 12.1 if you're in centimetres. Now each of these cards is specifically designed by Cricut so that it works well with your mat. Now if we go through a little bit further it tells us that that's exactly what I've said. The R stands for rectangle and the S signifies square. Now if we go through the document you'll see that there's bonus tips and designs for cutaway cards that you can select with your projects. Now what they have done is they will tell you that we need to go to the projects menu. We've gone to the projects menu and we've got cards up. Now obviously this is not a card because it's a cascade card that we can make in our 4x2x2 by two by two mat. But there are a few down here that we can make on our 2x2 mat. 
Now, what we do need to do is we need to try and keep either two or four the same type of card. So if I pick Mountain Sunrise, Mountain Sunrise tells us the finish side size is on an S40. So we can put that in and customise it. So we'll put that card onto our mat. Come on, jump on. Ah, there it is. Now you'll see that that's a pink card, or at least it's a card that's got a pink, pink behind it, because that's what's showing through. Now we're going to get another project, so we're going to go to cards again. Go, cards. And let's see if we can find another square one. Ah, here's an owl. He looks quite cute there. Now, there's our owl card, and we're going to go customise. Uh-oh. A project already exists on the canvas. Now, what are we going to do if we want to get more than one card on our mat? It's the same size. It's an S40. But we can't put more than two projects on the canvas. Well, we can, but we have to do a little bit of a workaround. So what we're going to do is we're going to go cancel on that one. And we're going to take that off. We're going to go back to our canvas. And on our canvas, we're going to go up to the top and we're going to go file, oops, file new window. Now, this is the top on the very left. You can find that and it will give you a new design space window now this is very helpful they haven't had it forever but they have had it for a reasonable length of time now and we've got another one it says welcome flow and it's just like the normal home screen because that's what it is it's another home screen so now i'm going to go to the canvas on the, second, on the second page that I've got up. Doesn't want to go to the canvas. Come on, canvas. There. It was just taking its time. Now, I'm going to put, choose projects again. And again, I'm going to choose cards. I'm going to scroll down to see if I can find my owl again. Rather like that puppy too. Now where was that owl? It disappear on me. There we go. There's my owl. And I can put him on and go customise. So he goes onto my screen. Just takes a little while with the weather the being the way it is. Here we go. Now, there's my little owl. Now, we've got an owl on this one, but our other screen has got our other project on. When we want to do two or four different projects on the same mat, providing they are the same size card, then Design Space will allow us to do that. But there's a little hint that you've got to do. What you've got to do is you've got to right select this card, right click on it and go copy. Then go back to your first screen and I'm just going to click over here because I know that's where my screen is. And we come back to the mountain card and I'm going to right click on it and paste it. I right, right clicked on the screen. Oh, that was a hard one to say. Now, these are both pink, so they will probably go to the same screen, but let's have a look, because, of course, Cricut puts your colours onto different mats. Now, it's put the first one on a white mat, but the second one it's put on a pink mat. 
Now, unless we want to change this one over to here, which of course we could, and then when the first one's done, we just put the second mat in. Oh, well, instead of, yes, you can unload the mat and put it back in again. However, if you want to put them both on one mat, you can click on here, move object, and put it on this one. The same way as you could move any object. It will change colour, but that's the colour of the card, and that design space can't actually see, neither can your machine, see the colours that you put in. That's probably just as well. Otherwise, we'd be stuck. Now, you can do it this way, but if you're changing four over, that can be a bit of a bother. So, let's have a look and see whether we can do it a different way as well. There's always lots of ways you can work around things. We're going to go back here, and although these look the same, they're not quite. But if we go up to our colour sync, now you've got your layers panel on the right, and we've often talk about our layers panel but this is color sync now when we go to this panel you can see we've got a pink one and a white bar now when we click on this nothing seems to happen and that's because you drag one to the other now they're both white now if we go back by doing the undo button we can drag our white one to the pink. So you can drag both up or down. Now, they're both pink now. And that means that when we go to the Make It screen, it will recognize our cards and it will put them on one mat. So that's the way to get them on one mat. Now, if we wanted to double our project or do more than one, we could do four. If you've got one card and it's a Christmas card, you might want to do four of each Christmas card that you're doing. Depending on how many Christmas cards you're going to send, you might do several birthday cards. Now, providing they're all the same size cards, they will go on. As soon as it's a different size card, it will choose a different mat, because you cannot do a small card and a square card at the same time or a rectangular card of different sizes so it you might have an r10 and you might have an r20 we well, can't put an r10 on this square and an r20 on this one because well you can but it won't cut right now we've got the materials uh, on a card mat and it will tell us that it's the s40 so that's the one it will do. Now I'll take this back to one and we'll just go down to two. And as you can see, if we were doing this, it would just put our extra things on the mat and we could go to that. Now the card mat looks just like this. We're going to go ahead. Now these are insert cards and you know they're insert cards because they've got little corners in here. And we're going to go cast. No, we're not. We're going to go continue. Now, my device is a Maker 3, and it's deciding today that it's going to have a little bit of trouble finding it. But it will find it. Yes, there it is. And my little light on the machine has turned blue. So that's great. And what we're going to do now is it says set base material now because it's an insert card we're going to select browse all materials now you may have your um, insert cards as one of your favorites however my favorites tend to be a lot so I haven't got that one up here now what it's going to do is it's going to say these are the compatible ones. You've already told Design Space that you're going to put it on a card mat. So it will choose things that you can do on a card mat. Now, this is the cardstock, and we've not got a cutaway one. 
we've got an insert one. Insert where's cardstock cutaway card backer. Insert card cardstock. It's right down here in front of my eyes. Now we're going to click on this one. So yes, that's a little tick. And we're going to say done. Now it's going to take those away and it's going to say the set base material in its insert cardstock. And then it says move the star wheels to the center of the rail, making sure all align with the middle column of the card mat. Now it's going to tell us what else to do, but we mustn't forget to do this because otherwise the star wheels will run across our card and make marks on it. But what it's going to tell us to do is it's going to tell us to load the red 0.3 pen in clamp A. Now if you've got a red 0.3 pen, that's great. I don't. So I'm going to use just a red pen in my clamp and I'm going to um, put the fine point blade in clamp B and then I'm going to load the mat. So at this point I'm going to change over to my other camera and you will be able to see me putting in my pen and loading the mat. So we're going to just pause here for a minute I'm going to show you that this is what the Cricut card mat 2x2 topper looks like. So if you see it in Harvey Normans, you will see it there. And it's 13 by 16.25 inches or the same in centimetres. And it says it's for the maker or explore machines. So we'll just put that on one side now. Now this is the mat. Now I shall move my machine back a little. Now, the mat has these covers on them. Now, as per your normal mats, they have covers as well. And these ones are slightly different. They're transparent, but they're um, sort of not clear transparent. So, one side is shiny, and it tells you to put the shiny side down. Now, I'm going to get the cards from over here. And I've got a pack of S40s, and that's the ones that we're doing. Now those are square cards, and you'll see that they come in their nice little pack. Now, um, one of these is blue, and I'm going to use a blue one, and I'm going to use a pink one. We have inserts in there as well. And we have um, envelopes, so they will be helpful when we're posting them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mat, I'm going to raise the corner here, and I'm going to push this in as far as I can, so that it's nice and tight to the top, and nice and tight all the way across. Now you'll see I've got a big splodge on my mat there and that was because I put the foil on and didn't realize it and made a mess by the foil sticking to it. Now as you see I've pushed that right in and that I've just placed that down. Now, in order to get my front to open on my machine, I just push it down and push it up again. Now, it tells us that we need a pink pen. And now, because I'm not looking at the screen, I'm not quite sure which side I had which for doing the mountain or the... Uh, mountain or the owl. Now I can see now because I've got it up here 
and I've got the mountain on the left, so the mountain's going to be pink, but the owl's going to be blue. Now, that's interesting, because it does tell me that I need a pink pen. So, what I'm going to do is, because it doesn't know what colour I'm choosing, I'm going to get my pens, and I'm actually going to choose a different coloured pen, and the pen that I'm going to choose is going to be a, well, it's actually a blue pen, so, and it's a, it's a gel pen, so I'm going to put the top on that, I'm going to reach over, and I'm going to hold the, the pen holder up, and click my pen down and then close it through. Now you can see I've moved my star wheels to the center so they roll up and down because I've been doing these cards. Now it tells me that I've got to load it and when I come back to the screen it tells me load the pen in clamp A, load the fine point clamp in clamp B and load mat. So now I'm going to just make sure those are down so that they don't get caught up along the top. And I'm going to load these up. Now, I'm not sure. That's the little map just making sure and it measured the length. And then it tells me load the red pen 0.3. Now I've chosen a blue one. And it tells me to set it going. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now this time I've only done two mats. Oh, you can see I didn't clean things properly because I've got a little red piece on my rollers. Now, the blue pen is drawing on the owl card. And that's going to look quite neat because it's going to be blue against blue. Now, when you put the mat in, you've got about a millimetre leeway and sometimes that's worth making sure that you put them in either left to right or either on the left side or the right side. Now, it's going to start cutting there. It's important that you do place the cards in the right place and not try and place them further down because when Design Space puts these cards on your mat it centers them so you can't actually move them around if you push them down further it will still assume that it is in the top it will put it back to the center of where it's supposed to be so now I'm just going to pause the camera for a minute and see whether we've got things going right and I will come back as soon as it's finished. Now, the machine has finished and it's telling us to unload the material. So I'm going to bring it up. Now, one of the things that is important is that you make sure your machine is far enough forward so that it doesn't hit the um, hit a wall or anything like that behind. And then when we take these off the mat, I like to just gently put my spatula underneath them and just kink the spatula slightly so that I'm lifting the card from the mat. You got to be very careful with these because if you rip them you've wasted a card so I'm just being a little bit gentle here and you can see that some of these are cut out and it's done a beautiful cut on them Whoop, there we go and once I've done that I can take that out and there's our little card for our owl and doesn't he look cute? And he does look like a he. Now, just get back up there and behave yourself. Right, now I'm going to do the mountain one. 
and again I'm just going to wiggle the spatula so that it just lifts gently lifts the card away from the mat and then when we clean our mat we clean it towards the top or towards the bottom and this stops little bits getting caught in the channels that are at the side now you will see that I had a piece of red on the star wheels in the middle and that must have been picked up by a little piece going there so when we there's our, our mountain one and you can see how beautifully that's cut and you can see how it's got a nice little area so that it cuts inside now I should have a little scraper here and what we do is we scrape our mat and you'll see it comes off very easily just scrape our mat to the top now if you want to take a bit more care you can actually use these little pieces and make more cards so ideal to give them to the children and they will make the cards again now when we finished with our mat like this we go back and we take our pieces that cover the mat and we put the shiny side down they tell us to put the shiny side down and that will protect our mat now it goes full length on the mat so it goes there and then this side goes over this side now before I put this completely down you can see on here I hope you can see I'll bring it up so that I'll bring it down this way now you can see that R40 is at the end R30 is here 20 and 10 and that's where the cards finish so when you put them in that's where they will be so we'll put the mat on one side again making sure that we have that right now we're going to get the pieces that go in behind now that's the inserts and I'm going to put a tanny coloured one in the owl and I'm going to put a uh, I'm going to put a pink one in the put a green one but I rather like the idea of this being pink so I'm going to slot it up from the back it slots into the area at the top corner and the bottom corner and then you can put the other two corners in and that's our card completely finished all you have to do now is write in it now you can put the cards in if you're going to write in them I suggest you do the writing first because you turn it over and bend it back and you can write directly onto the side of the card so that makes it so much easier then once you finish doing your writing you can turn it over and then you can cut your card out what that does is it means that you've still got a nice flat background for um, you writing on your card and you don't have it have to go over bumps with your pen now that's not there i've got a couple of little pieces here let me just get my pokey tool there we go poke poke and they come out very easily now I'm going to put a tanny coloured one in behind here and there we go come on now these have been designed for the Cricut cards I did think at one stage yes I could make them myself but time is an amazing thing and you can often run out of it however 
This is the owl card, and I think he's rather cute. You could have used different colour. I chose to use blue. But there are my cards, all done and ready to go. So all I have to do now is put my message inside them, and I can do that in a number of different ways. The envelopes come with them, so you don't have to worry about finding your envelopes. You can address them, pop them in the post, and there. Tomorrow, someone will have a card. And it's taken you not long at all. Now, the 2x2 two two card mat is an amazing thing to have. As an accessory, I think it's just really neat. It makes your cards so that they have the perfect alignment around the outside. They don't look as if they are um, falling off to the side and things like that. I think that it is wonderful. It's um, in the 35 to $40 bracket. It's available at Harvey Norman's. And I think when you consider how much you can actually spend on an individual card, and I nearly dropped the other day when I don't generally buy cards, and I went in and I thought, oh, that's a pretty card, and I picked it up and it was $15. So I put it back again. And then I came home and made one just as pretty. So going for your 2x2 two two card mat, I would say that the 2x2 two two card mat gives you 10 out of 10. You can choose five different size cards and you can put in them whatever you like. Now these are the insert cards. You can also do them as cutaway cards and they have cutaway card packs and that is another one as well. And you can do the cutaway cards as well on the 2x2 two two mat. So it's a very versatile mat for you to have. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it.